Hello all, Jamie here from Craft Mania and today I'm going to give you a bit of an overview of some of the new stock which has just arrived in stock. Now, oh my goodness, I don't know, even know where to start and I know I haven't got all of it here but I wanted to share with you the bits I have got so that I can tease you a little bit. Now, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to bore you with all the prices and all the info like that. This is all on the website ready for you to go and order. It's also in store so you can go in, you can shop, you can go online and shop, you can see all of the prices, everything is on some sort of offer so there are introductory offers you can be getting hold of there are sort of a couple of bundle offers so do go and have a look on the website if you want to know more about them but this is just a very quick overview for you to see what's coming or what's here so jane gill we love jane gill don't we she's an incredible designer and she has created brand new big bubble stamps now many of you i know collected last year's um, bauble stamps or bubble stamps and we've had the flower stamps there's so many of them the collection just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger well jane has decided to bring out some brand new big bubble stamp sets now on top of the stamps you are going to be needing the die i should imagine the die will cut three different sizes it's all in one panel so you're not going to lose the individual dies you can stamp on these i'll be showing you some stamps for that shortly you could be using these with paper pads we have some new paper pads too, I'll show you them shortly. You could of course be doing all different things with this to cut out and layer on top of these pieces. So just a quick flick through of some of the stamps I've got with me here. We have got a lovely Christmas tree, we've got little stars, we've got a background star to build up around the sides of it. Jane loves giving you these little bits because it means that you've got the freedom to create larger areas. She often mentions that when we see her on shows and bits. We've also got the wording that looks like it's going to fit inside the baubles as well, or the bubbles if you wish to. Keep calling them baubles really mean bubbles you've also got baubles see i did know we was going to end up with some baubles somewhere um we've well, got two different sized baubles again you've got these really dinky bits if you want to go in with your glitter glues maybe twinkles or if you want to highlight those with some 3d accents absolutely you could do that too glitter bits is something i love using with these and of course there are loads and loads of different gems on the website too that you could be filling in these with or buttons look at him isn't he gorgeous this is jane snowman now i love the fact we've got these snow um, flakes as well to go around it build it up again you've got them elements for the backgrounds we've got winter wishes as a wording at the top here we have a large format bauble with a couple of flourishy bits and some berries happy christmas at the top we've got a best wishes with a lovely bauble on this one too which of course could be colored and decorated not only to match your gems or your die cut elements it's all going to coordinate isn't it with this one we've got sending love at christmas a couple of little heart pieces we have another ball but how cool are these big twiddly bits coming out the top there that's going to really create a statement on your project isn't it and i believe this would coordinate quite nicely with some of last year's designs too so if you wanted to do more than one on a card absolutely why not then we've got this more sort of elongated bauble, lovely little branchy bits. Tidings of comfort and joy is our sentiment at the top here. Then we have season's greetings. Love this poinsettia element going around the corner with all the baubles. That's just gorgeous. Then we have our stocking. Now there are more than this as well, so do go check out the website to find them. Now, with your die, Jane has thought of everything, as she always does, everything. What do we need to go on top of these? Or what do we need to go on top of the baubles? If you want to stamp directly on top, you can. If you wish to use that die cut, cut them out, you can do as well. So think of using your different colours of paper and cutting those out, stamping on top of them. And you could use your decorative pieces. So we have bubble small tops, we have bubble medium tops, and we have bubble large tops. So they're going to match in with each of the sizes of the die. Now to give you a little bit of a closer view of these, how cool are these? So we have got our snowflakes, we've got little wording, we've got presents, we've got little villagey pieces, all going on on that one. When we bring this off, I love these elves. I want you to see these elves. How incredibly cute are they? We've also got little foliage pieces, we've got snowflakes, we've got again more little village pieces down here. And then if we go on to the larger size again, village pieces, elves, love the elves. We've got wording, we've got a little reindeer, we've got a little robin, it's all going on. Jane has thought of everything. Now on top of those, these intrigue me and I can't wait to see what everyone creates with these. Woodware and Jane have bought out these bubble top tiles. Now in here, this is your square die. So you've got two different ones in here. You've got your outside cutting die. And then if you notice, there is not a cutting die around that panel in the middle. So if you wanna cut that into the front of your card, 
and create your very own aperture. You absolutely can do. Now, I know these are the bubble top tiles, so obviously they're designed that you can use them with all the bubble top elements that Jane's just released in the stamps. But to me, I'm seeing this cut out of a lovely window shade, maybe white or black or even gold if you wanted to. Put a piece of acetate behind it and build up your fluffy stuff in the corners to look like a snowy Christmas window. Then on the inside of your card, create a scene. Maybe it's a, a toy shop window. Maybe it's a front room scene. Maybe it's just a Christmas tree die cut. But to me, I'm seeing windows. This is what I'm seeing with this one. And I think it's gorgeous. Not only, of course, have you got the framework, you've got all of the pieces that are going to pop out as well, which gives you the ability to stamp your little bubble tops on top of these. And then you could put them together into them sort of tile sized squares and make up some really cool backgrounds as well. So I love this. I think this is going to work really, really nicely. That's your square version. Jane didn't just stop at a square. Oh, no, no, no. Why not have a rectangle? So again, same sort of idea, but again, we've got the rectangle size. Same again with the outside and inside dies. So there isn't a die running around the inside of the inside one. So if you do want to create longer panels on the front of your cards, you can absolutely do that. Now, another thing to mention with these, I can't see these inside bits on both of these. Well, if you wanted to, you couldn't move that down and carry on cutting that way into linking your top row or maybe two into the ones you've cut so you could extend that down as long as you wanted it to be so that could possibly lend itself to different ideas different you know ways we could be using them maybe making up decorations i'm trying to think if you could even somehow use that as an advent calendar maybe creating the windows i don't know there's lots of ideas i think will come with these but they're exciting i think you'll have a lot of fun with them but they're in stock as well so that's our woodware overview as i mentioned check out the website lots of prices several offers Get them why we've got them. Sticking with dies, paper cuts. Oh my goodness, paper cuts dies. We have got double paper cut dies. Now these are so much fun because it means they come in two different pieces. So you can use them together if you want to. You don't have to, but you can if you want to. Paper cuts, again, these are the ones that are gonna stay on your edges. So they're not gonna come away from your cardstock. About 50% will cut into your cardstock. And then this bottom part will come away if you cut into it. So if you wanna fold it over and have different effects like that, you can do. If you wanna to trim to it, you can do. If you want to use it with the in and out dies and put the in and out die over the other side so you've got a freestanding item or put an in and out underneath it maybe. There are so many ways you can coordinate edger dies with the in and out collection. So lots of fun ideas you could do with that. But this one of course is our Christmas pud and it's got tis the season underneath. Lovely one. I love this top bit. I could see me using that all throughout the year even without the pudding area in there. Although the pudding's pretty cool too isn't it. But yeah fun to work with then we have our mistletoe tweaked must double edger so again you could use it individually you don't have to use both at once if you don't want to or if you wish to you can use them together they again are two completely separate dies so think about using them on their own or interchanging them you know use that bottom part from this one and the top part from that one and you've got a completely different effect and that would probably leave you enough room in the middle to add a little sentiment roughly where the holly is on top of that lovely um I forgot what it's called now, Christmas push, that's what I mean. So again, think about interchanging. Uh, what have we got next? Oh, another double edger. This is our twos company double edger. Now, how cool is this? I love this one, I love a snowman. But this one's really cool. So we've got a sort of our snow lady and our snowman in my mind, but you know, colors are up to you, how you wish to decorate them. Now these again, you've got your two sides. Now this is really cool because it means we could put these on each side of a gatefold card so they could literally come in and meet each other or you could put them on the outside of a fold out card or you could do, you know the cards I like to do where you've got the different folds going out. You could put one coming out of each side instead. Uh, lots of ideas for different card folds on the blog and YouTube. So if you don't know what I'm on about, do, do go check those out. But I think these you could get very creative with. And I love the fact they match, but you've got one each facing each way, which gives you more versatility to how you're going to layer them together. Another edger idea, this is our Bells and Baubles double edger. So as you can see, obviously lovely interlocking bells. But again with these, a bit like the last ones, if you wanted to put one side with a bell and one side with a snowman, absolutely you can do that. There's no reason why you can't. So think about interchanging those sort of sets as well. But with your bells, two different dies in that set. Um, again, very pretty, very ornate. 
very very lovely actually very good for paper piecing too don't forget that trick i wish i could credit who i stole this from but i can't it was one of our lovely um creative expressions design team members put some double-sided tape on the back of the die cut and paper pieced back into that it's not double-sided tape sorry ordinary seller tape so that you didn't have to go around and cut the bits to go behind it you could just put them back in it and i thought that worked really well now also from paper cuts we have got seam dies now a seam die means that they are going to stay in your card so again there is no outside cutting blade going all the way around the die which means it will stay in the front of your card if you wish to trim it out you could either use a layering die a guillotine a trimmer whatever you wish to again if you just like to remove maybe the top half of it you can on set your in and out dies and just take out areas depending on the size of your die and the ones you're looking at with your in and out but lots of ways we can use this too. This is the Frosty Cheer. I think that's so cute. How lovely is that? And again, I can see quite a lot of snip ability if you wanted to take out just the trees. If you even wanted to go in and remove the snowman, I think you could probably do that quite easily and then put something else in the middle there maybe. Not something I've tried yet, but it looks like it's possible. We then have the Midnight Chorus scene. How lovely is that? Again, I like this little village part down here. That's perfect for snipping out and using. And again, I reckon you could take out the, the bird if you wanted to, the robin. You could easily remove that one and then infill some wording in the middle. It doesn't have to be as you see it. Paper cuts are very good at that. You can certainly trim pieces out if you would prefer. Again, check out the website, lots of offers. On top of all of this, I mentioned paper, didn't I? Oh, a little bit excited about this. We have got Festive Frolics. It is now released. We have this. We have got these for you. Festive Frolics paper kits. I don't know how well I'm doing. I'm not very good at this, but we've got the paper pads. So this is the kit. So in the kit, you have, you have got die cut elements, which are, as you can see, very easily removed. And you can use them on their own. There are squares, there are circles. There are loads of different paper elements in there for you to layer up. Let's give you some numbers, shall we? They're eight by eight in size. Uh, there are 300 GSM, oh, 300 GSM for your toppers, obviously, 150 for your paper. That would make a bit more sense. Paper would be very thick. Uh, six designs, 32 die cut toppers, eight designs in total. Oh, I don't know if that made any sense, but you know what I mean. Lots of choice, lots of variation, lots and lots of paper, lots of cool designs, and then you've got your topper elements as well. Now, because this is a paper boutique collection, we also got... Oh, got also got embellishment pads now these are really cool too these are all of the pieces you can cut out you've got all your wordings you've got all your tabs you've got a couple of different backgroundy pieces all of your words that you get on these where were they all of these i love these because these mean that you don't really need to stamp your sentiments you've got everything on here may your christmas be merry and bright big hugs and mistletoe kisses joy to the world jingle all the way tis the season to be jolly it's going to Oh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Sending you warm winter wishes with love and best wishes. All I want for Christmas is you. And I've only got down to there. So as you can see, an awful lot of those that can just be snipped out and used. You've got all of your pieces. So you can add more to these as well. So if you want to bring in your glitter kiss, if you would like to use your fluffy stuff, any of them mediums that you want to go over and add to them, they're uncoated papers. There's no reason why you can't. Let's try giving you a fact of this one, see if I get this one a bit better. 8 by 8 in size, 150 GSM, 36 sheets in 6 designs. See, I think I made sense that time, but getting better. Uh, then we have your Festive Frolics Decorative Paper Pad. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Now, this one is a bit like the kit, but instead of having the die-cut elements, it's just the papers. So, again, I always recommend that you stock up with these and you get more of these to go in with your kit because I feel this is what you're going to use an awful lot of. These are all your patterned papers, so you're going to go back to these time and time again. Then we have for you the insert collection. So, same idea, but these are A4. They're 120 GSM. You get 40 sheets in 10 designs. Now, these are perfect for cutting about, although they call them inserts. I don't think I'd ever use them as inserts. I think they're too good to be an insert. I think I'd want to cut these up, layer them, create different pieces with them. And you look at this one. I can see two, maybe three cards out of that one. If you want to use them as an insert, absolutely welcome to. But they're just so cute and so lovely. I think I'd want to use these for all different things. And these border bits, these frames, how many times do you need a frame? How many times do you want to frame something in a scrapbook album? For Christmas, these are perfectly printed. Just remove the middles with a die or a knife and you could then go in and inlay your own photos. So I think there's a lot to go on with them, more than just necessarily inserts, but if you do want to use them as inserts, you absolutely can do. Then the bit I love about Paper Boutique, and I make no secret of this, 
is the card packs. Now I often bang on about this, but you go and you buy a paper pad and you look at the shades in here. You've got these sort of really lovely merlot -y reds and then you've got these lovely dark greens, but then you've got this light green and you want bits that are gonna coordinate with all of these tones of red, all of these tones of green. And you can't find them. You just can't. Oh, I never can anyway. You might be able to, but I never can. And then same for the blues, same for all of it. And you just feel a bit dejected that you can't go and get everything you need. Well, with Paper Boutique, they do that for you. They bring out these paper or card packs, I should call them. And you've got all of the same shades, exactly the same as what has been used in all of your pads, in your inserts. So these are perfect for doing all your mats and layers. Now it's only 200 GSM, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend that you were gonna build your cards out of these by a long shot, but it's the perfect weight, obviously, for your mats, your layers, your bits like that. And these are A4 sheets, they're perfectly done. So you've just got all of the layers there ready to cut out and use. You can emboss it if you wish to. It's got a white core, you can tell that because the back of it's white. So again, if you wanna sand off the top, like Gwen was recommending the other day, absolutely fine to do that as well um, lots of techniques can be done with them again uncoated so you can play around with that in any format you wish to now i did quite a long flick through of our festive frolics festive frolics so you probably don't want to know as much because this is exactly the same same setup we have got the card pack we've got the inserts we've got the embellishment pad we've got the paper pad and we've got the kit and this is just to prove it a little bit of a rustle of plastic but all of your goodies are here this is timeless Christmas. This is gorgeous. This is lovely. Absolutely. How are we going to do this? Let's try this way, shall we? Oh, I'm not very good at this, am I? I need to practice this. This is something I need hours of time doing on my own, I feel. So we have got papers going all the way through the little booklet. How gorgeous is that? Can you see that? Okay, how gorgeous. It's like Harry Potter does Christmas with all these little wrapped envelopes and little clocks. It's very vintage. I love that. Then you've got this holly going on. We've got matching polka dots. We've got Christmas trees. And then we go back to the same designs again of paper. But again, like the last kit, and I'm going to try and do it this time out, flicking the pieces out. You know, them easily removed toppers that sort of went everywhere. We have got your topper elements. So these are your circles. And you've got your designs here to flick through. Lots of them. You know, they're, they're worth a pretty penny, they are. If that was just a sheet of these on an A4, you'd be paying quite a bit of money just for those alone. And then you've got your squares, same idea again, so die cut, ready for you to pop out, ready for you to use. And again, you've got the same amount of squares going on as we just went through in circles, so lots of ideas to use for those. And then as I mentioned, you have got your paper pads that go with it, you've got your inserts, you've got your card pack, it's all there for you. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not gonna go into all the prices because I've just taken 17 minutes just to flick through the stuff, let alone give you any more info. So it's all on the website. You can find everything I've just mentioned under the new section. It's all been released, so you can go and order as much or as little of it as you wish to. It'll be appearing in the shop as soon as we can get through all of the boxes and get it downstairs. Um, but ordering online is brilliant. Don't forget, if you live within the UK, your PMP is completely free anytime you spend over five pound. So you don't have to pay a penny towards postage. If you live internationally, this is something we keep saying we're going to review and we haven't yet got there so it's still currently capped at just 10 pound so again check it out if you want to read how it all works but the most you're paying internationally at this moment in time is 10 pound for your international shipping which is a bargain especially at the moment with the way prices are going up you don't even want to know what we are paying but we will get around to really sort of looking at that at some point and sorting it out but at the moment it's good for you cash in capped at 10 pound Go fill your boots with all of the bits that you like the look of from this collection and many more. And um, yeah, check it out. Let us know in the comments what you think, what your favourite items are. We'd love to hear what you're thinking about these collections too. And um, I'll hopefully see you soon. Don't forget, oh, that's what I haven't told you. Oh, there's me, I'm like, um, I know there's something I haven't told you. Uh, you can order online, you can order by phone as well. Telephone numbers 01493 843 666. Uh, you can also shop in stores, 6 Regent Street, Great Yarmouth, Norfolk. I can never remember if it's street or road. Street, 6 Regent Street, Great Yarmouth, Norfolk. And if you want the postcode, I believe it's NR31RN. But again, that always phases me too. Um, but you can, of course, come visit us or you can order online or by phone. Daphne's there from 9am to 7pm, seven days a week. And if she does happen to escape and pop out, there is an answering machine. Just leave a message and she'll call you back the minute she is back at the house and can deal with your order. Orders. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this and I look forward to seeing you again next time we've got a big release like this that's here for me to share with you. See you soon. Bye for now.